A dance troupe called the Pittsburgh Slovakians take great pride in their performance about the birth of Christ. The dancers span generations and their camaraderie is moving. When you become a member, you're a member for life. Even you, <clears throat> if you go to school, you come back, you're one of us. Their annual performance in Greensburg is always preceded by a traditional Slovak Christmas Eve meal organized by the First Catholic Slovak Union. One of the great customs is the evening meal usually starts with, if not the youngest, uh, one of the youngest children uh, looking for and finding the star of Christmas Eve. And the appearance of the star is always a sign uh, that the meal can begin and that the evening has come upon us. Tonight we're very happy to have with us uh, John Yakubush and John is age five and he is a member of Branch 199 of the First Catholic Slovak Union. See John if you can see the star. What do you think John? Is he good? We got it? Okay. On the table, colorful oplaki or Christmas wafers with honey and garlic. And so the oplaki is both a Christmas offering, like the Eucharist is an offering in the unleavened bread, but it also reminds us of our passage from sin to the life of grace. The garlic on the table was always taken first, and it reminds you of the bitter herbs. And the garlic is to symbolize sin and the world before Christ that was a world with sin. Guests dip the oplaki into the honey and allow the sweetness to overcome the bitter taste of garlic, just as Christ overcame sin and death. The next course is mushroom soup, which symbolizes prosperity because mushrooms grow without being planted. It's beyond my expectations. Actually, I didn't know what to expect, but uh, it suddenly, you know, in this rush and uh, and stress and and the responsibilities that you have, suddenly there's this moment of calming down and realizing how important moment is coming in several weeks. The Slovak Christmas traditions are especially meaningful to many who remember a time when they couldn't practice their Catholic faith in Slovakia. That all changed after the fall of communism in 1989. There are a lot of young people who are uh, reinventing themselves, uh, who are um, finding a strong belief inside this still more and more secular world. The Bountiful Night event has plans to resume next year, and if you're interested in attending, visit theaccentonline.org. Vesele Vienose!